Hey Geminis, this is your monthly astrological reading for the month of September. I'm Gemstone. And um, the cards I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be going into the play playing cards like I usually do. And then the more specific areas of your life, I'm going to be um, using the Beautiful Creatures tarot deck. And then I'm going to pull a Angel Answers card for you. Actually, let me pull it now. Let me just see what Angel Answer card wants to show up for you in September. But I'll come to this card last. Right. Okay. Your um, your reading is speaking quite clearly, and some of the messages actually repeat themselves. Um, when it comes to the playing cards and the tarot cards. So I'll just merge them together. So the first card is the six of diamonds with the two of wands with the seven of clubs, clubs, so spades, uh, with the nine of hearts. Okay. So what I'm kind of seeing with your playing cards is that you, something is going to be handed to you. Something significant could be money, could be an opportunity to make money. It's something that is going to give you a bit more stability in your life is coming through somebody else. So somebody is going to be assisting you. But then, and with what they're assisting you with, it's like you're able to kind of see what the next step is going to be um, after that point in your life. Like, so if it's an opportunity for a job, it's like you're going into something new and it's almost feeling like your ship is coming in. So it's something that you've been wanting, something that you have been either working towards or waiting on and it's like finally something is coming to you now so it's like the next step in the process but then what i'm kind of seeing here which in the beginning kind of took me back i was like what is this really trying to say is the next card that is showing up it kind of shows when you are doing something that not everyone knows about or doing something for yourself that might even be a secret to others so for some of you you may have got help from somebody else but maybe you don't want to tell people the person you got help or assistance from or maybe you're going to make it look to other people like you did it all by yourself when in fact you did get some help so it could be looking that way as well but it could be that you just really feel like this opportunity or whatever you're given is really for you like you really think that it's just that you're deserving of it this is what you've worked towards so it's like you feel very confident in taking it um and and then with the last card again it's showing like it's a wish come true it's a blessing like this person has blessed you with this opportunity that you have been given or this money or whatever this gift is to you it's going to make a difference a uh, significant difference to you in the month of september because I, and I, I think the reason why it's going to make the difference to you is because now you're finally going to feel like okay yeah something is coming to me something that has been owed to me is coming to me right now even though the way that you may have done it, I feel like may, for some of you guys, the way that you may actually go about doing this whole thing, it may be a little bit sneaky or you may be that you're not telling everyone all the pieces of the infant, all the pieces of the puzzle here. But then there might be a reason for that. It doesn't mean that it always has to be something sinister to why you're not saying. But I kind of feel like there's sort of like a secretiveness that could be going on. And that's sort of the theme I'm getting with this first card showing up, which is the Seven of Ears, which would be the Seven of Swords, which is showing up in your work situation and your finances. So there is something that is going on with your work and finances that, again, it's either you don't want people to know what you're doing or it's a situation where it's, it's like you're trying to gain this thing for yourself. This is a card of self-gratification. But again, it's self-gratification that sometimes can be depicted in a way of being sneaky or being uh, a bit devious in what you're trying to do. But then at the same time, it can just be saying that it's just a secret. Something about this is secret that maybe you don't want it to be revealed. But then it has a gain in it for you. And that gain is fulfilling something within yourself, a need within yourself, something that you've just been really wanting and you're just like, okay, now is the time. And so it sort of could be like an opportunist kind of thing. Now is the opportunity. Now I have to do it. And so, but there's something with it which I can't fully 
no i can't really grasp what why that would be but it's almost like there's something where you're not really revealing everything um about this situation to others around you so yes for those of you that are in relationships you got transition the transition card would um, be the death card in the traditional tarot so it could be saying that a relationship may have ended it could be saying that um, but but to me when the death card shows up it's like it needed to end it's like it just there wasn't any life left to be given in this situation um, for some of you guys I'm kind of feeling this could be somebody that has been in in uh, either an off again on again relationship or this could be somebody that has maybe broken up with quite a few people recently like um like maybe you've gone from one partner to the next really searching for love and maybe it just hasn't turned out the way you wanted them to and so it's kind of saying that you are just kind of you turned your back to somebody and now just um kind of focusing on this skeleton that's here which is holding on to this lady so it could be saying that maybe even somebody that from your past is still holding on to you or still thinking about you or maybe still contacting you but she has her back towards this person so it's almost like in her eyes this person is got long gone like she ain't even wanting to turn back <laughs> and to give this person any notice because she's like mm -mm, that was the past that was over with so i'm kind of feeling like you might be the one separating from somebody but then you can still see that she she's not exactly happy with the separation there's still a sadness connected with it because clearly she was hoping for this to turn into something more or for this to be long term and um and i feel like you're just really wanting love uh, I think that that I f believe that this is sort of connecting with your your um, reading last month because I'm sure you were the one that I was telling like you really are wanting love and that's kind of what I'm feeling again like you're just really wanting somebody in your life like she's even holding on to this other one here but this one actually isn't um, it has a skeleton head but all right it looks slightly different but she's holding on to something herself so there's something about or maybe a past relationship that you are still holding on to you are still thinking about you are still sad about but you feel like i can't go back to that situation like i it would just be the same thing over and over again and we just don't want to do that so it's kind of walking away but walking away with upset you know um so i feel like this might be something that has been a continuing theme almost so it might not be that necessarily you, you're breaking up with somebody this month this could be even somebody that you've broken up with like a while back and but there's still some sort of feeling sort of going on there um i gave a similar message to that to somebody and one of the other readings as well i think it was libra that had like a similar feeling to it um but then it's uh for those of you that are not in relationships that are single you have the bull of earth the bull of earth showed up for aries i believe this month and in the same position as well that's quite bizarre <laughs> and um yeah no it wasn't in the same position it was for those of those that were in relationships but this one has shown up for those of you that are single so to me it's kind of saying for those of you that are single you might just be feeling um like like you're just not even bothered <laughs> that's kind of what i'm feeling like you're not even bothered about um all that relationship stuff right now i think that you are just um the first thing that came to mind was being set in your ways like I think you've developed a routine to how you live your life to how you've been doing things and you uh, it's like you you have this attitude of well, if I'm in a relationship I'm in a relationship if I'm not I'm not kind of attitude and I don't think you're really in search of anything this month I think it's just more a time where you are just sort of feeling comfortable within your own self you're feeling comfortable in your own surroundings your own home your own um you know maybe even your your own luxuries like the like you 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 might find ways of pampering yourself doing things for yourself almost like self-care like you're not too concerned about having somebody else do those things for you it's like you'll be prepared to do them yourself and to just take care of yourself and do what you need for you um 
so uh with that being said i don't really see like love or anything with this card i just feel that you're just feeling more you're just feeling comfortable where you're at so here is good in that respect and then i see like with so much green <laughs> with all this green it could be saying maybe you're just focused on your money right now maybe that's the green that is coming through um the other thing with green is that sometimes green can represent envy as well so do be careful of that like you know or maybe being envious of people that are in relationships some of you guys could be it could be like playing itself out that way as well like not being jealous of other people and what they have and stuff but just kind of thinking more about what it is that you want or what it is that you have um again maybe how this card could be connecting with this one is again you you may have left somebody in the past um and maybe that person really annoyed you or made you upset and it's almost like if you was to know that that person had moved on with your life that would upset you kind of thing so it could be like playing itself out that way too being upset because of an ex and maybe what they could possibly be doing with somebody else um but then the last card to show up for you is the six of earths and the six of earths again is like really connecting with your playing card reading where it's showing that somebody is going to be helping you assisting you somebody really is going to be reaching out to you and it's going to be really beneficial to you again is uh, so it's something that could be more than likely is financial that is coming through in september and it, this is coming from somebody i feel especially with these two hugging could be somebody that really cares about you or somebody that believes in you and your abilities and they just want to help you out so that's a really nice card and because it's showing up as your um spirit card um it's kind of saying that this event will really affect you like on an internal level like you're just really going to be feeling like yes i'm being supported in the things that i'm trying to do finally things are kind of happening for me and um yeah i'm not feeling like alone in this situation i'm feeling like i'm getting support so that's good and then what also shows up for you is opportunities so and as you can see there's gold falling from the sky and as i was saying with the six of of um diamonds and then the six of earths and then this opportunity card it's like you have three cards showing the same message that money finances something is going to be gifted to you and as you can see it's like it's coming from the sky like it's almost like this could be something that for some of you guys was completely unexpected help that comes to you but i feel like this is something that you've almost been consciously like manifesting something that you've been consciously wanting to happen and now it's like finally happening so you're seeing it like in its full form so it's really positive if you've been really like depending on some money to come through and stuff like that like it's going to be a good month for you in uh, september so yes peace and many blessings to you gemini i'll see you bye